what is going on welcome back to the channel we're back with another video this time it's going to be another fishing related kayak item but before i start i have sold my lifetime yukon now i'm not going to tell you what i purchased just yet but i do have a new kayak on its way and it's one that I'm very excited about after a bunch of research and after a bunch of looking into options and, you know, modifications that I can make. And um, I was looking for something even more stable than what I had in the Lifetime Yukon. I have purchased something that I can now use and feel more comfortable in in our bay here for saltwater fishing. I can now use it for duck hunting. I can use it for fishing. I am going to motorize this kayak i very well may add a pedal drive system to it i have the option to do that the the um, model that i bought does not have pedal drive it's just base you know model but man there's endless possibilities that you can do with this kayak and i am going to go crazy with it so this video though is going to be about something that I felt was pretty necessary. And after watching a bunch of YouTube videos on this subject, um, I didn't exactly see what I wanted. So, what is it that we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be doing a live well for my kayak. Now, in all the research that I saw, I saw people using dog food containers, um, seen coolers, you know, large items i i don't use live bait very often so with that being said i wanted something that was going to be a little more you know a little smaller in size a little more compact and um i think i have a good idea of what i'm looking for now now i also was looking for something that if i didn't go kayak fishing and for some reason i wanted to use live bait i can take it with me pretty easily and I've come up with something and I haven't seen anything on YouTube about it. So hopefully this will help you out and maybe, you know, it'll get you wanting to do the same type of thing or similar. Now, one of the big things is um, obviously space in a kayak. I don't use live bait very often. We actually just got our regulations out for our summer flounder fluke season um, coming up. So that's going to open up in the beginning of May, which I'm looking forward to and you know, with that, yeah, we use bucktails, you know, we use, you know, other jigs and rigs, um, but live bait is a very effective method of catching them. So typically when I fish lakes and, you know, I'm bass fishing and stuff or anything like that, I don't use live bait. You know, I use a lot of artificials, but let's take a dive into what exactly I had in mind and what I'm planning on doing. All right, guys. So... For my DIY live well, my version, we're gonna need two things. And one is a bubbler. Now I got this one, baby bubbles. On two AA batteries, you're gonna run on approximately run for approximately 20 hours. So with the amount of live bait fishing I'm gonna be doing, this should last quite a while. So now this will aerate up to three gallons. Now what I got won't even hold three gallons because I'm not gonna use live bait that much, but it gives me the option to use it, you know, to use some if I want to. So one is the baby bubbles. And secondly is this cooler I got from Walmart for $10. Now this cooler has a plastic liner inside it which this is going to be my live well so what I had in mind is I'm going to drill a hole inside of this for the aerator the stone can stay inside there then the bubbler I can actually just keep in the side pocket pretty simple right if for some reason I don't want to use it as a live well and I just want to bring a cooler, well, it's got a liner in there and I could just throw, you know, a couple cold packs or a cold pack, a little bit of ice, whatever, a few drinks, and I'll just take that with me. Or I could just make sure this is cleaned out and I'll throw my drinks in there, whichever. 
So let's get into doing this. Let's check this out. Okay, so here it is. This is the plastic insert out of the cooler. We have our baby bubbles. So now inside here, we are going to have our air hose and a stone and the bubbler itself. Now, this is probably gonna hold about a gallon of water, so this is gonna be plenty for what I need it to be, right? So, what my thought process on this is, is we will drill a hole up top here somewhere, we'll run the hose in with the stone, and it'll just stay in there. So let's get into doing that. All right, so here we go. What I'm gonna do is, up in the top part of this, plastic insert. I'm just going to drill a quarter inch hole just for the hose to go through the air hose. So, um, you know, this doesn't have to be rocket science here. I'm just going to put it somewhere along the top. Now that was a quarter inch drill bit. That should be large enough for the hose to go through. We're going to take the hose with our stone, put it in there. Quarter inch actually is perfect size for this. We are going to run this in, there we go, just like that. Now we'll take this, uh, I'll bring this in for a closer look so you guys can see. So you can see in here, we drilled the quarter inch hole and our stone is inside, the hose is sticking out here. Quarter inch, like I said, is the perfect size. We can now slide this plastic insert back in with plenty of room for that. We can connect the hose to our bubbler. And then our bubbler can just go in the side pocket here. That's basically it. We're basically done at that point. Close it up. You're ready to go. Now you have a strap in which you can take this with you. You know, we got more pockets in here. You can add some other stuff in here if you want. But this is actually gonna be the perfect option for what we need to do for the kayak. It's small, it's not gonna take up much space, and it's definitely portable for you. Um, like I said, I, I mean, this will hold probably about a gallon of water. This aerator will be plenty big for what we needed to do, and that's about it. So, hopefully this helps you out a little bit if you're looking for a small DIY um, for a live well. You know, it's just an option. Um, this is something more, you know, that I was looking for. Easier to transport and less room to take up um, in your kayak. And, uh, yeah, this will easily fit right in between your legs while you're sitting in your kayak and you'll be ready to fish. So if you liked the video, if it helped you, if it, you know, made life easier for you, gave you a good idea of what you're looking for, um, then by all means, go ahead and try it out. Um, we're getting really close to the 100 subscriber mark. And um, like I've been saying, at 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So if you are not subscribed, subscribe because as soon as we hit 100, we're gonna do a giveaway. It'll most likely be fishing related. Um, it's definitely gonna be fishing related. Uh, it should be, you know, some tackle and stuff like that. So guys, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. Take care.